Friends, today in this video, I am going to explain you a new concept in which a load is there and to turn on and off load, we will use two timers. You must be thinking that what is the need of using two timers. So first understand this concept. Suppose this lamp is a water pump. Now I want to turn on and off this water pump daily for a particular time. For example, you can consider this lamp also. I want to turn on this lamp daily at 12 noon and at 1 pm I want to turn off this lamp. For this, I will use a digital timer. So that whatever programming I will do here, according to that my water pump or this lamp can be turned on or off automatically. Now apart from programming I done in this timer, I need to turn on the water pump and after a particular time I need to turn off the water pump also. I used another timer here so that this get automatically turned off. As per the time we set in this timer, the water pump will remain on in this time and when time is completed, water pump is automatically turned off. So what is the concept behind making this starter? I hope you understood. Now we are going to understand how to make this starter. I have these two timers which is of CNC company. If you want to operate these two timers, then first I have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to these timers. For this, in this MCB at the phase terminal, connect one wire with this terminal. Take other end of the wire and in this digital timer at one number terminal, we have to provide phase supply. So with this terminal, I connect the wire. To this multifunctional timer also, we have to provide phase supply. So take a piece of wire and loop this wire. Take this wire at A1 terminal so that this timer can get phase supply. Now we have to provide neutral power supply to both these timers. So I am using this black wire. Take this wire and to the point of MCB where we receive neutral power supply, connect the wire with this point. Take other end of the wire and to the two number terminal of digital timer, connect the wire with this terminal. So I provided neutral power supply to this timer. Now to this second timer, I will provide neutral power supply through this point only. I am looping this wire and to the A2 terminal of timer connect this wire. To operate both these timers, I provided the power supply. Now through this timer, to operate this lamp, connections need to be done. So what we have to do is, in this digital timer, you will find common terminal, NO terminal and NC terminal. What you have to do is, to the common terminal of this timer, that is 4 number terminal, you have to connect a wire with this terminal. I connected this wire. Now take this wire and to this MCB at output terminal where you receive phase supply, connect the wire with this terminal. Through this multifunctional timer also, I have to turn on this lamp. So what I will do is, to the common terminal of this timer, the common terminal of multifunctional timer is 15 number terminal. With this terminal, connect a wire. To this terminal here, we have to directly provide the phase supply. So this wire is to be connected at output terminal of MCB. But from the output terminal of MCB, we already connected a wire at this point. So with the same point, we will connect wire. It means to both these common terminals, phase supply is directly supplied. Now when this digital timer is operated, I want this lamp to be turned on. What I will do is, to the NO contact of digital timer, connect one wire with the contact. Take other end of the wire and to this lamp, provide phase supply. To provide phase supply to lamp, I use this red terminal box. Similarly through this timer, I want to turn on this lamp. So to the NO contact of timer, 18 number terminal is of NO contact. With this terminal, I connected one wire. The power supply from this wire will be used to provide phase supply to this lamp. So I connected this wire also with the red terminal in this way. This lamp I have now will not glow only by phase supply. To glow this lamp, I need to provide neutral power supply also. What I will do is, in this MCB at the neutral terminal, connect this wire with that terminal. It means I connected black wire at this point. Take other end of the wire and provide neutral power supply directly to lamp. Friends, I am using a lamp here just to explain you. If you want to make this starter, then you have to use a contactor. It means through contactor only, we will turn on and off a motor. So to the contactor you will use, provide phase supply and neutral supply from this terminal. Rest all the connections will be same. After this much connection, through this digital timer, 
connections to turn on and off the lamp is completed. But in this multifunctional timer, little more connection is left. You have to use a NO push button here. Connect two wires with this push button. Take these wires and to this multifunctional timer at A1 terminal connect this wire. I mean connect one wire. You can see here at A1 terminal I connected one wire. Take this second wire and to this S terminal here connect this wire. This means to turn on this timer I used this trigger push button. So all the connections to make this starter is now completed. After completion of connection, in this digital timer you have to program the time for which you have to turn on and off the lamp or motor. Apart from this, the multifunctional timer I have, I selected this at F position. This means this timer will be used as single shot timer. I programmed the time as 5 seconds in this timer. What will happen is, when I turn on the MCB, after turning on MCB in this timer, when the time which I programmed is completed, then through the timer, this lamp will be turned on. Right now I am showing you manually how it turned on. But the time you perform in this timer, after taking that much time, load will be turned on automatically. And the time you program, after which load is turned off, taking that much time, this timer will turn off the load. Now suppose apart from the program time, you want to turn on the load, then what you have to do simply is this button here. Press this button once. After pressing the button, for the time set in this timer, this load will be turned on. Right now 5 seconds is set. After 5 seconds, this lamp will turn off automatically. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.